Let's jump to the wall here with part three of my Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Let's Play campaign as the Eastern Roman Empire. Right, so previously we conquered quite a few settlements. Uh, Dumantha, so Dumatha, uh, Tessaphon. Did I conquer that one last time? I can't remember. Uh, we conquered Carthage, Lepsis Magna, Magna the, uh, oh, and uh, the settlement up here, Colonia Dacia. The Western Romans betrayed us, but they really just, they just beat us to it, like we were going to betray them anyway. Um, I've had to switch the capital over to Antioch just for a short time while Dumatha, if we get the public order here under control, that's the biggest problem. Actually, I think it might be under control now. If I build that, that'll provide it with, I actually go with this. Provide it with enough culture. Let me just see if I move this back to Constantinople. Actually, Antioch is probably a better capital right now because it's more centralized. I think. All right, so I guess you don't need to go to Tessaphon anymore because we took it with pagans. Public order is under control, but we need to establish uh, Christianity here as soon as possible. Pretty sure this guy here is pagan, so let's get him out of here. Yes, that's re reduce the amount of pagan influence. It really doesn't matter to me whether it's pagan or Zoroastrian. It's the same same bonuses and penalties. What we if we took the governors out, it's only a minus five. Now we're gonna leave them in there for the time being, um, and uh, we'll just hang on. If you guys move in here, okay. Now the majority is actually Christianity, so I'll need to move these guys over here just to uh, maintain Christian influence. Okay, and you guys will actually have to leave. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one, but to be honest, I was willing to sacrifice these guys anyway. Let's just see what happens. Because here's the thing, if we kill their general and kill our generals, then that reduces the influence of both Zoroastrian and Paganism. Making it much quicker to uh, establish Christianity here. And we outnumber him, so that's something, but their units are of course better. And of course, they're horse archers. I need to surround him. We've also seen that these camels are not particularly reliable in battle. They uh, they rout very quickly. But if they're just going to sit there and shoot at us, at least we get a charge bonus on them that they don't get because they're not going to counter charge. That being said, it probably wasn't that much. Not confident that we're going to win this, but it doesn't really matter even if we don't. Haven't killed a single one of them yet. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win it. They're just too strong. Uh, well, at the very least, kill my generals off for me, because they're pagans. Oh, we got him! It doesn't even matter if we win now. Huh. Well, we didn't lose our generals. I think we got lucky with that. They're wiped out if they lose the general. And then these guys just move into a different region. So now, yeah, there's a lot, well, there's, there's no, barely any, um, pagan influence. Where did that, is this guy here the pagan? Yep, yeah, alright, move him into here. And there's still a Zoroastrian in here somewhere. Wait, no, no, it's just the religious buildings. 
Now we can't go ahead and destroy that just yet. Actually, yes we could. Look how much public order we've got here. Could easily destroy it. Ooh. Man, that was actually closer than I thought. But whatever, it's um... We'll get rid of this uh, pay, uh this Zoroastrianism quickly. So they'll sit here and maintain public order. You're gonna have to come down here and I think fight them. And over here. Yep, Zoroastrianism is alright. Rapidly going down, but that's still good. So the um the Sassanids, they're pretty much dead. Alright, now over here. I need my fleet to return so that it can get retrained. And at Carthage we can recruit some new units. Alright, let me just see what I can do here. So there's that Roman army. If they're coming down here, it doesn't really bother me if they retake it. I'll just maybe I'll go to Syracuse while they're doing that. Lipsis Mag no, it's not worth anything to me. Athens has low public order. Maybe you just have to increase the games. Okay, good. So they'll make their assault soon, and I think they'll fail. I got an idea here. There we go. Okay, I don't really want to be recruiting peasants here. It's just we need to lower the pop population. Okay, good. We'll um, we'll head off soon. Probably next turn, actually. All right, what 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 can we build here? Public order's alright. Needs to be better. I guess that'll help. Alright, so what else we can purchase? Alright, so at Ephesus. Yep. Public order here is a little bit not great, so I could, uh, I'm sure it's all it's as, it's as good as a hundred percent Christianity, but there's no there's no public order penalties because of paganism. But that would provide a bit of extra law. Yeah, that's that's actually good for our economy as well. We still got heaps of money left over, but that's probably because we exterminated Carthage. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do until these regions have uh, fixed up their public order. Got rid of the uh, Zoroastrians there. Let's move on. Why would they make this attack? Apparently, they don't stand a chance. I mean, they do have some really good units here, but these guys here won't count for much. Then again, my guys here don't count for much either. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Now, we know that these these guys are not going to do really anything against the um, the Clibinario. Alright, um, let's position ourselves over here. They're just too heavily armoured. If I'm going to take out the Clibinario, I probably need to use our generals. Because they're the only, only ones that have enough morale and, and uh, melee attack to pierce it. Even then they struggle. So if you could 
uh, harass the camel riders because they're light cavalry. That would probably probably be best. I got no problem with them just dealing with these. Let's back off. While we deal with with the uh, the uh, the more difficult threat, the uh, Clibinarii. Okay, I need to come back. Camels are shit, don't expect anything out of them. Alright, cavalry. Yeah, come over here. Break them. I'm gonna break these slingers. Now the hard part is these two here. Now if I was commanding this army, I could probably win. As in commanding their army, I could probably win just with the Clibinarii. But the AI is pretty dumb, so maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, our guys over there are not faring well. God damn it. Legio Lancaria I lost against Levy Spearmen. I mean, it's on very high difficulty, so, you know, what do you expect? Hang on, hang on, what's this here? Camels. Take him out. Okay, they're not as difficult as these, because they've got two hit points. What's this? Take him out. Get these guys in here as well. Good, you broke them, that's what we want to see. All these really good fighters that really could have held us down for a long time. Yeah, kiss them goodbye. Get them out of guard mode because they. It's like formation attack. It's not very good. Okay, you're not in any danger, so that's alright. Okay, good, we got him. How'd we go? 93, good, they're wiped out. No major damage. Alright, I'm pretty confident we can defend against this. The two common tentsies I reckon can easily be beaten by Equities Auxilia. The Fodorati Cavalry aren't going to do anything. Because don't forget, they've still got to get over the stone walls. They're going to get shot a lot on their way to the town square. And then by the time they get to the town square, they're going to be tired. And we will have unlimited morale at that point.
Yeah, they're gonna get shot absolutely shit. Come here. You know, they're Roman as well. If anything, they're more Roman. The walls are no longer ours. The yeah, if they come off the walls here, they're still going to get shot by, by towers on their way there. Now, I think Equites Auxilia are better than Fodorati Cavalry. Fodorati Cavalry is essentially barbarian cavalry from, like, vanilla Rome Total War. They're just trash. These guys are going to die around here. They're not going to go anywhere. Good. Good, and these guys are getting shot as well. The, this unit here is so disorganized. It's all over the place. The best chance for us to have any maneuverability is inside the town square. Fighting out in the streets is not going to help us. Of course, we need to try and pincer them as much as possible. All right, if we can kill their general first, that'd be good. What we'll do as well send the um, send the peasants over here so that they can soak up just their javelins. While we're doing this. Okay, seems to be of about the same quality. Our guys aren't doing that well. I was confident in victory, but now I'm not feeling so good about it. Then again, if we kill that general, it will make a big difference, especially against units that don't have great morale. Great gods be praised. Yeah, but I lost a lot of men myself on that. Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Okay, we've got to pincer these guys here. The fact that their general died is our greatest strength. Come on, break. Break you shit. Good. That's one down. I doubt our peasants are going to do very much damage to them, but it might be in our best interest to let these guys have just a bit of a rest. Just, just let them go. Actually, pull them back over here, let them shoot us again, draw them, draw them in here. If they want to waste their javelins doing that, that's up to them. Good, they're exhausted. Yeah, they're going to be easy to break. The walls didn't do as much for me as I thought they would. Fighting, you know, keeping the peasants on the wall, do you really think it would have done anything? So they want to sally out here. The only reason I kept these guys there was because they're pagan. I'll fight this battle, but um, whether we win or not, it doesn't really concern. Okay, now. 
We're outnumbered, so we need to use our superior units to our advantage by taking them out one at a time. Okay, what the fuck are they doing? Okay. Or even two at a time. Alright, so what are these over here? Runaway slave spearmen. Probably best to save them for last. What are these? Step horse archers. Alright, let's try and get them. In the opposite direction, but we didn't take any damage. I mean, we didn't lose any men. We could have taken damage because I got two hit points. All right, if we can take out the warlord, that'll be useful for breaking these guys because we don't want to want to fight them in, in regular style combat. Fuck that! Just break them and run them down. Break him now. His men know their doom approaches. Ah, this guy's right behind us. I need to pull them out. We, we can't be fighting with these guys in our rear. That cost us a lot of men. That might have actually cost us the battle there. Just because it's fucking around. I hope he comes back. Problem is, he's tired. If he comes back, I'm confident we can win. If he doesn't, I'm, I don't think we can win. Okay, he came back. So you're tired. What's this? Okay, take them out if you wouldn't mind. No, you'll, you'll never catch them. Right, if we charge at them, I don't know if they'll break. Herdsman might catch up to us. I need to get my guys together. Oh, good, you broke him. Run him down. Ah, fuck. This guy is probably gonna die. Try and get him over here. If you can get him in the rear, maybe you can break them. But this this battle is gonna be over very quickly. This fight. Come on. Try and pull him out, if we can, just a little bit. Ah, you piece of shit. For your general to fall on his sword, but live another day. He is running away. All right, still try and try and finish them off then, at the very least. If he dies, it's fine. I mean, we sent these guys over here just because they're pagan. This would have been nice if we could have won. Okay, the fact that he's got this much experience, he might actually stand a chance against the enemy general. Okay, just stay put. Don't get exo be be as fresh as possible, and you'll be able to take him out. At the same time, these guys are harassing me. If you're fresh and he's very tired, you'll win. How many does he have? Oh, he yeah, outnumbers us by a bit. But he's going to be exhausted and you'll be winded. Here we go. And also all that extra experience. Hopefully it counts for something.
Those guys are doing really well here. I mean, it, it, it certainly does help that, you know, the enemy is exhausted and that we've got this much experience. Come on, take him out. They're either going to win or they're not going to win. Okay, good, they won. Alright, we've won the battle then. Because all that's basically left is light horses. I don't think it matters that we're exhausted. It's close. At least we didn't lose either general as well, so everything worked out. Essentially no casualties as well that way. Oh wait, I didn't check to see what religion he was. Wait, where did he go? That's Christian, so it's fine. So apparently the Western Roman Empire is stronger than us now. So they're certainly not richer. And gold wins wars, sometimes. We just purchase more troops. Alright, so... The public order here is... just fucked. This is what I was afraid of. Okay, so... I'm gonna need. Hmm. I'm gonna need loads of troops over there. How many? If I could do that. So it's only got a 30% garrison bonus. How am I gonna get this down? Alright, um. Fucking hell, these settlements with their public order. Stupid religious shit. Okay, so. Martha is in good public order now, so we can probably put this back to being the capital. How's that going to deal with our finances? So, projected 37,000 to... Yeah, okay, so it's not the best capital for us, but public order here is much more controllable now. Is there... Okay, Antioch. Just put the games on it until that's built, because that's going to provide 10% public order. Alright, well once that once that peasant is trained. Uh, that'll provide us with 80% garrison, yeah, that'll sort it out. So now we need to convert this to Christianity. Well, we don't need to do it right now. I guess in the meantime, let's just um try and get rid of some of this culture penalty with some some of our buildings. So we're still trying to maintain uh, actually the public order here is good now. Let's see. Actually, paganism's increasing because of ca oh fucking vandals. Oh great! I don't know what to do about that. Hopefully, they just leave. Well, I got this peasants here. If they besiege it, whatever. Okay. That's for you. How about you go down there and you go fight them and die or whatever? I don't give a shit. You can hire, hire a bunch of these crappy mercenaries. We got the money. Well, not crappy mercenaries, but they're expensive. Okay, so. Let's take our army and head over to. Oh, I was going to head over here, wasn't I? Public order here is fine. Take the entire army and just leave peasants behind. Ready to sail. Aye, aye, so this here is just a large town. Okay, well, if they besiege it, maybe they can at least get the siege equipment built. Okay, they need some mercenaries to help build this. Or we could use the ballista to, uh, to break down the walls. I'll just tie the mercenaries. 
Yeah, we should be able to win this. Let's do it. Okay, so, first thing we're gonna do, knock down the gates. Right, let's get in, oh hang on, if you get in too close, they'll shoot you, so see if you can hit them from there. Aim for that Imperial German body. Oh, shit. You can't get too close, they'll shoot at you. Right. Go. Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Come on, you, you went the, completely the wrong direction there. Pathfinding moron. Come on, get them all, get them all. Oh, you got most of them, that's better than nothing. Get back. I haven't lined this up properly. It doesn't matter. Right, so our guys here outnumber them two to one, so they should be able to beat him. Especially with these guys coming in to fuck them in the rear. That guys are struggling a little bit. But now these guys are completely surrounded. Get in there and start shooting them. Well, they do a lot of damage, that's for sure. Some of them should be able to shoot it. Fucking morons. Quick, we've shot them, let's reform into the wrong, wrong order. Doing this is just frustrating. I'm just gonna get the uh, these guys in there. They'll sort them out. The mercenary veterani. How much do they cost in upkeep? More than I'd like, but we can afford it because we're filthy rich. Because I've fixed up our infrastructure, and we're conquering more settlements, which is gonna make us more money, so that it'll pay for itself. War can be very profitable, but only if you win. Pretty minimal casualties there. So they didn't uh, fix up this paganism shit. See, it's only thirty-six percent Christianity, 
If we destroy this, it might cause more public order problems than it solves. Yeah, I thought as much. But now at least... Now this is going to go down. Alright, what I need to do here is make sure that these guys are not standing inside the settlement. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened there? Oh, okay, that's fine, as long as, like I said, as long as they're not standing in the settlement. Don't know why they couldn't get back on the boat. Uh, just leave them behind, because... I'm going to be leaving them behind. So it's going to riot. There's nothing we can do about that. But next turn, the public order should be fine for us to sit here for a little while. Good, the cultural penalty is going down. That's what we need. At your service. Secrecy is assured. So I think that's their last two settlements. So that's their capital. And they've got a reasonable sized army, but it's of ship units. We still can't leave here. That's the problem. Still trying to get the Zoroastrianism down. Okay, I want you to go around this way. Ah, right. You. Get rid of this. Okay, the only thing that's actually dangerous is, is, Vah, oh my god, Vahayevish Dabpaya. Fuck your name. I'm just thinking like parents of birth, the kid's birth. So what should we name this kid? Something easy to remember, so we don't fucking forget his name. How about Vahayevish Tabaya? Yes, that's easy to remember. I wonder what it means in Persian. Probably giant cocksucker. Richard, I don't appreciate you. Um, what's it called? Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't even care. Oh, I've got reinforcements? I don't care. Uh, looks like we got to climb the hill on this one. Okay, we can also retrain the Legio Lancaria here, so maybe it'd be best if you left the battlefield so that you don't get wiped out. If I can try to get them to come off the high ground. Oh, oh, oh my. I think they're retreating. Well, if they're retreating, goddammit, let's, uh, let's try and shoot them. I'm sure they'll break if I charge into their rear. Yep. Few casualties on them. I mean, we only suffered four. You stay here for the turn and retrain. Can't get archers from here though, but that's okay. Let's go sit in the port, I suppose. Okay, that's looking, for the most part, pretty good. Okay, so these guys here need to be retrained. Doesn't give us any new types of cavalry. I think I'll just focus more on uh, economic things. 
I don't think the Western Roman Empire is going to come back at us anytime soon because I imagine they're going to be at war with... Yeah, they're at war with a lot of other factions. So they're going to have to go deal with that. Let's have a look at faction ratings. So that's us. Western Roman Empire. So overall ranking, they're a little bit stronger than us somehow. For some reason, we lost rating. I wonder what from. Military rating. Well, I don't know. When did, I, did I lose an entire army anytime recently? I don't think so. Production ranking, I'm above them. Territorially, slightly above them. Financially above them. So they got more population than me, but I'm catching up. Alright, I was going to build this, so that way we can get our best cavalry. At the moment, yeah, like I'm really not a big fan of the Hippo Toxotai. They're just, as far as, like I like horse archers, but... They're just, as far as horse hunters go, they're not that good. Actually, no. Go with, go with this, because I need the growth. Okay, our money's not going to cover all expenses needed to construct stuff this turn. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Good. Um, wait, 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 no, no, no. I need to, um... I need to retrain these guys here, so they can keep moving. Oh, I would have liked to have recruited another unit, but we're out of cash. Alright. Moving on. So I expect rioting over here. But for the most part, it's quite under control. Okay, so you're not actually helping with public order very much. It shouldn't revolt, but I'm not certain. I might need to move the capital a little bit, a bit closer. And you shouldn't stay there. All right, strongest factions: me, richest factions: Huns. Okay, so I'm going to move the capital over to Thessalonica. So I need to prevent it from revolting. But that's probably going to cause problems in the east. Yeah, but I can deal with this. So Jerusalem, fixed, fixed, and fixed. Alright. So it should only have to be like that for one turn. Yeah, I very much doubt we can leave here just yet. No way that they'll beat that. What kind of mercenaries are available here? Yeah, well, whatever, I'll take all them. The mercenary Sarmatian archers, they're pretty good. Still over here, that's the public order just not maintained yet. Public order here is borderline okay. Wouldn't hurt to be a little bit better. I'm gonna try and get over here before they. Um, I would easily beat them if it's all, all full of infantry. Infantry. Um, I don't think there's anything else to build. That's, none of that's going to help our economy. Ah, uh, fuck it. Just build that anyway. I 
Okay, now here, put that in there. It's time for these guys to move up here to, to attack the, uh, the Sassanids. I'm sure that this region's public order is under control now. Yeah, it's fine. One load of peasants will maintain public order. And we've pushed the Sassanids out of here, so it's not under any danger. These guys over here, they'll still have to stay here for a while. How many regions do we have? 28. I mean, we're pretty close to actually getting victory. All we need now is to take Rome and six more settlements, and then we've got victory conditions. Cool, moving on. in here. If the gates are open, we could win that. Oh, he's going to be a tough one to get rid of. Are there any other mercenaries here? Let me just check. No. How good is my general? He's, he's actually pretty good. Okay. Because we've got a lot of horse archers and they're not going to do jack shit to him. But fuck it, let's do it. They were silly to take those units out like that. Because I wouldn't have made this attack if they were in here. And so it begins. First thing I think we need to do is keep the melee units out of this. Because all of them put together probably won't beat that general. Especially if he's in, in the town square. And let's try to shoot him. I know that getting into a skirmish with him is not necessarily going to be favourable with these guys. They won't win, but I think they'll do a better job shooting him than they will in melee. Plus there's that other unit, which it's just javelin men, nothing major. I'd get them, get them into loose formation, but that would make it even more difficult to maneuver around the settlement. Yeah, I want them to shoot the Kurdish Javelin men if we can. Try and lure them over here. Good, they're all getting shot. That's what we need to see. move them a bit more over this way. They're in such loose formation though that we're probably not shooting very effectively. If we could shoot the Klibinari Immortals that would be of higher priority. It's not quite in range yet. Okay now he's in range. Shoot him. Especially if we shoot him in the back. That's going to be even more effective. Well, let us destroy these units, but that's okay, we're, we're doing a little bit of damage to them. Five casualties better than nothing. Also, a thing to consider is they do have high hit points, so some of those units are probably at half health. Okay, I need you to... Okay, um, I don't know. If he's coming back around this way, get ready to shoot him. Get out of there. Okay, well at least the uh, the Kurdish javelin men are gone. You get in there. I need this guy to come back over here. Jeez, we've used up nearly half of our ammunition. We've barely done a dent into him. Six men, that's all he's lost so far. You, you can't really get into a skirmish with these, but at the same time, if we um, if we keep this up, he's, he's going to run out of ammunition as well. 
He may have already. I don't think they start off with a lot. You see he's not firing back now. So every every kill that we get from here on out is essentially bonus. He doesn't have a shield, so shooting him from the front is viable. Not ideal. Still better always better to shoot him in the back. If he's just going to sit there, let's bring in these guys. Alright, time to get into melee, I suppose. Oh, do we need to? Oh, get back, get back. Alright, send, send these wankers in first, try and wear him out. He's, he's tired, that, well, winded, it's better than nothing. Our guys here should be fresh. Okay. Oh, you shouldn't be in there. Well, fuck it. I'll, I'll sacrifice everything that I can to, to win this battle. I want you to go around this side here. Go around to go kill him. I think we'll get him. Him pulling out of that combat wasn't good for him. But they're just so strong. It's just short of using like pikemen. There is no way to, to get them, and there's no Pikemen in this campaign. Well, that didn't really work. The enemy show. This is a heroic. Oh, well, we won. That's all I needed to do. And I've got myself a new city. Hopefully, we can. Actually, hold it. Not at this rate. So, paganism is going to take over. Now, what if the faction leader was to come over here? He wouldn't be able to make it, firstly. If this settlement's going to revolt, we might as well convert it to Christianity. Because I'm not sure what I can do here to, to solve this. Oh, there we go, fixed it. I guess it needs to not worry so much. Um, build that, that'll help with our public order. Now, the public order is going to keep going down every turn because of paganism, unless we take some of these guys out of here. Okay, good. Better to just keep Zoroastrianism here for the time being. And take the spy out as well. Okay, public order over here seems good. Alright, so just recruit peasant. Yeah, I think we can leave. General, sir, oh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. Public order... It's just not quite there yet. To lower the population. It doesn't really matter if I have to leave a few Limitania behind. Because they're next to useless anyway. Okay, that should maintain public order. 
Got to get moving to finish them off. We take the settlement and the Sassanids are gone. Alright, so the Vandals are here. That is uh, not going to be fun to deal with. Okay, it looks like they might be heading towards Constantinople. If that's the case, we need spearmen. I can't fight that out in the field with what we've got right now. Yeah, this isn't enough. I need to full on cavalry spam. Because if they're wandering down here, they're looking for a fight. And that's a serious horde. The hordes in this are a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, threatening, I suppose, than they are in Total War Attila. More cavalry. Infantry are not going to help me against that. So, paganism over here is maintaining, yeah, just public order's good. Okay, we should be able to leave here now, public order's good. I'm gonna leave that unit behind, and the peasants. Good, and disband this, because that's costing me loads of money, it'll just slow me down. Okay, next stop, Syracuse. So, it looks like they're actually heading towards Alexandria, but... catch him. But I could, all I gotta do is this. But no, 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 don't go there. Stop. He's got nowhere to go, just sort of resolve it. Now I just need to catch up to that fucker. Okay, how are we going here in Duma? Oh, right. Switch the capital back to Constantinople. So, Governor's influence gets it from 80% to 90%. We just need to lower the culture penalty. If I was to just leave one unit behind, it should provide 80% public order. Yep, okay, good. We can leave. Don't build watchtowers on roads. Build them next to roads. It's actually usually better to build them two, two positions away from roads, just in case. But... That's fine. Even even if rebels do come here and block the trade, it's do Martha. It's not worth anything. So he's on the run. I'm pushing him all the way back to uh, to Media. Now up north here, I don't know what's there. Can we hire a spy from here? No. Nope. Okay, public order here is looking like it's finally coming under control. Just a little while longer, one more turn, and then we'll send them north. Because I don't think they needed to take on Arsakia. I think we can handle it. With this, uh, I'm not actually certain. I mean, what we could do is wait for him to come and attack us here. 
draw them out and then go and hit it because I don't need to wipe them out completely just need to take the settlement and then they're gone so as for this I'm not sure what I can do about it we just need to play by ear and just see what happens if they commit to Constantinople I wish I had epic stone walls I just don't have time to build that well I want to build this instead but we're going to have to start recruiting like crazy because if they come here and they sack this settlement that's going to that's going to really suck might be an idea also to it's going to take them a, a few turns to get down here even with a look with a full stack in here i'd probably be able to defend that settlement it's not going to be enough time though all right you guys start making your way over here to defend the city If we did leave, oops. Okay, it's a near full stack. Quite a lot of cavalry. It's probably actually my strongest army in terms of unit quality. Not very experienced though. Because don't forget, these guys are also causing a lot of paganism here, which isn't a good thing. Paganism's coming back. By putting monthly games in, at the very least, it's slowing down the rate of paganism. I don't have any... Oh, wait, this guy here is Christian. If I bring him into here... There shouldn't be any more pagan unrest. Or what shouldn't be increasing, I mean. Alright, let's move on. Why would they bother making this attack? They don't stand a chance. Fine, I'll just fucking kill them. Here's the thing, they can only recruit one unit per turn now, and I don't think they can get Klibinarii from, from that settlement. They could only have gotten it from... from uh, Tessafon. So it's just their general's bodyguard that's going to be a problem. Which, of course, they'd, they'd be able to get two or three at any given time. So killing their general might not actually be... They'd kill him anyway. If we get the opportunity, might as well. So he has to attack us. We have uh, the range advantage. He's got the high ground. I mean, I could have gone over here, but when the fighting starts over here, it'll be fine. Too late to move back now, anyway. Okay, move back behind the line. Should have put them on guard mode. These motherfuckers, you just can't shoot them. Too heavily armored. But you know, we've got to shoot off the other stuff first as well. I reckon a campaign playing as assassinates would be so easy. Just spam General's bodyguards or just spam Klibinario. No one can do anything to you. What, what's the cost of them anyway? This is probably not really going to tell us. Oh, yeah. But based on that, I can probably guess it's somewhere in the vicinity of about 500. That's 
definitely worth it, con considering what they can do. Alright, we need to, we need to all-out attack with the infantry. You fucking coward. Oh well, I don't really expect anything from Limitanio most of the time. Oh good, good, good. Did we get him? Yeah we did. That actually worked really well. Just overwhelmed him with numbers and he's a chicken shit coward and killed him. Now we just need to wipe out their army. 85%. No coming back for them, they're all gone. out of the way. So Syracuse is down here. My fleet's looking a little bit worse for wear. What I'll do, because I don't want to lose my fleet, land them here. They can just go the rest of the way on foot. And you need to go back here and retrain. Public order will be maintained. So those guys just popped up there. Now, it doesn't... I don't think it's a good idea for me to attack them. Instead, what I'll do is I'll build a fort... Not a fort, sorry. A watchtower out here. And then, hopefully, like shit on... Sorry, like flies on shit. They'll go attach themselves to it and no longer be a problem for me. I think I'll need both of these armies together to try and take that. Alright, let's get going now. These guys are going north. He was actually causing public order problems. And let's keep moving. So up through here, it's it's all just rebel territory. Nothing special. Okay, the Vandals, they look like they're heading back north. Oh, actually, <laughs> we ran into them by accident. I was going to come up here and build a, a, uh, a watchtower. If they attack us, we're royally fucked. But it's not like this army here is irreplaceable. Actually, what I could do is fight them and then just withdraw from the battle immediately. And what that'll do is send me straight back to Colonia Dacia, which might be a good idea if we start building up the walls here. But I don't think it's, I think it's a bit too late now. So they're getting ready to attack us again, and we're getting ready to attack them, so that's fine. I think Syracuse is more valuable. Catch up to them and kill them. Okay, I think this fleet here doesn't need to stay. I'm going to send it to uh, Constantinople, where it could be of some use.
I guess from here let's just construct some stuff and then move on. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Well, there goes all my money. But if we have a look at this now, now their overall ranking still... I don't understand how we dropped so much. We didn't lose any settlements, didn't lose any armies. Why is their military ranking dropped so badly? Did I disband a lot of units? I don't think so. So it looks like they've been retaking settlements from the uh, the Western rebels. All right, let's move on. Yeah, they're getting ready to attack. It might be an idea instead to just abandon Dacia. Um, I'm just going to auto resolve. Well, actually, it's probably not a good idea. You can still lose a battle like that. Let's fight it. Because he doesn't have any command. Of course they choose a fucking sandstorm to attack in. Still doesn't really make a lot of sense that they actually make this attack because they don't stand a chance. We've got every superiority that matters. These horse archers. No. Actually, I should put them behind the line. Not in front of it. Because they don't have any ranged units, or any long range units, they're not going to really do anything to us. Anyway, I'm not really relying too heavily on my archers in this battle. So they just walked in front of us and allowed us to shoot them. Fine by me. But if you're going to shoot anyone, shoot their general. Even if they caught us now, it wouldn't even matter. Come on, you're on skirmish mode, let's see how you go. Enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. These guys can't get close now. With the, the general having left the battlefield, they're, they're fucked. Imagine these guys are pretty exhausted. There we go. Good. Just give yourself a bit of experience if you can. Alright, well, that'll do. Zero casualties. No, wait, I think I took a few casualties because the javelin, uh, they shot each other a little bit. So yeah, if you want to survive this, don't be in here. We're, we're, there's no point trying to defend this. It's just not going to happen. So instead, because here's the thing, they'll either occupy it or they'll sack it. If they occupy it, that's the best thing for me, because then we can just work on killing off all their generals and then finish them off that way. If they sack it, well, then they're still a horde and I can, I'll just have to retake the settlement. So get the fuck out of there. I mean, there's not that many people there to save anyway. But sometimes you got to learn when to give ground. If I send these guys over here, all I'm going to do is sacrifice my army. And this is just not a defensible position. If it was stone walls, it'd be a different story. It's just... Wooden walls mean nothing, really. Alright, what I'll do is I'll put you over here. If you could ambush them... Probably won't, but... Yeah, just stay out here for the time being. Oh, I should have um, built up the garrison a bit more. I don't think I'll win that. There's too many of them. That's okay. While they're doing that, I'll make my way down here. we close to Syracuse. I probably could have gotten them all the way there.
This motherfucker's got a, like a man of the hour, but this this is okay. Um, I should be able to handle this. And even if I can't, this guy's a pagan, so who cares? All I need to do is win. They've got no friendly territory to go to. gonna be tricky since they're just walking I want them to like charge at me make them charge make them walk up the hill they'll get a little bit tired because uh, although we're oh shit there's the red line here all right well, we've taken the high ground the common tendencies will not break if we charge into them. We need to we need to exhaust them and kill their general. Right, so the first thing we should do, just charge into them and try and kill their archers. As soon as they get up a little, a little bit, okay, go. It's very important that these guys here stick together. Unfortunately, them being camels, most of them, they're going to be pretty slow to get out. Okay, my general's in danger there. I shouldn't have... I should have done that. Okay, their, their troops over there are wavering. If I could just get a flanking move in on them, I can break them. Because their general's green. He's uh, not an experienced commander. Okay, now you need to get around this side over here and flank him. Just don't break on me, you shits. So I'd say we've got this now. They, all their common tendencies are gone. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. But in fact, yeah, it, we don't need to run him down because he's uh, he's got nowhere to go. He'll die. Victory, general. Okay, I don't really know what else to do with you guys. Maybe send you back out over west. Maybe we'll go fight the Berbers. I can't keep you in my own territory because you're a pagan. Orders. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. At your Another thing that we could do is besiege the settlement with one army and the other army just push that guy out of the way. Just ignore him. If we kill him, they'll just hire a new guy in here. So, Tribus Alani. It's going to be shit for public order. I wonder where the Huns are. I haven't seen them. In ages. Let's have a look at their faction ranking. So their overall ranking is way lower than us. Militarily, we're much stronger. They have no production, no territory. They're very rich. They must have... Well, actually, they're rich comparatively to us. We're, and we, we just spend a lot more. Yeah, no. They're no big threat right now. It'd 
be great if the Vandals were just like keep heading west. Go deal with the go bother the Western Roman Empire. Don't bother me. No point sending a diplomat to try and get friendship with them because the AI will backstab you no matter what. Actually, might be a good idea to turn to to that as soon as we've got the money for it. That is. What's this doing? He, surely he's not going to come down over here and besiege this. I don't think so. Alright, um, yeah, send him up north. Alright, let's move on. Very predictable. Um, how did they make the attack without, like, straight away? Because when I play as a Horde faction, you can't do that. There's no, there's no point finding this manually. We're going to do absolutely nothing to them. I hope they occupy the settlement. Nope. Yeah, we, what are these? Sarmatian Auxilia, they're actually really good. Um, if we fight the town square, we'll have an advantage. But even if he kills off my my generals, they are of course shit generals. What we'll do, make them waste their charge on our peasants. And then hit them from the flanks. I really need the peasants to be standing in there. So yeah, while they're engaged with the peasants, we go around the sides and envelop them if we can. Said, if they're going to send units in one at a time, that'll make things easier for me. No, he's coming in as well. It's just very important that these guys stay in the town square as much as possible, because otherwise they'll instant break. Stay too close to this guy here. Okay, let him. Let, the peasants don't matter. Let him soak up the damage. Come around over here. Alright, get in there. Let's go. So we've got them enveloped to some degree, but the problem here is that they're just really good fighters. But here's the thing, my guys won't break now, even if they kill my generals. No breaking from me. Yep, I've lost one. Probably going to lose the other one as well. Yep. Fuck, we're actually losing the battle. Much better to have lived. They just didn't break. You know, I had them, I had them flanked, but yeah, what could I do? The 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 Sarmatian auxilia are just better. Fight. You've got to be fucking kidding! I can't send reinforcements from anywhere. God damn it! When the when, that doesn't usually fucking happen. Game throwing some curveballs at me. Okay, 
You're going to have to go back and reconquer Alexandria, because there is no way in hell we can defend against that. We didn't even kill their general either. But we should be able to do it with this. There we go. Just enslave them again. So yeah, we can't be going back there. Not until they've, they've left the area. Syracuse over here, not well defended. But what the fuck is with this? How the hell are rebels besieging me? That doesn't all usually happen. Alright, so... Looking at this here, I just need someone to sneak around and besiege the settlement. And then... You stand there. Stand here, push him out of the way. And you should try and push him out of the way. Good. Okay, give him your archers. And let's make this attack. This will finish off the Sassanids. Here's the thing with um, with the situation with Egypt. If, if the AI can spawn a, an army of rebels in any region without your knowledge, despite public order being absolutely fine, and the only defense against that is constantly leaving a large army in every single settlement, it's not worth bothering to do that. Because, for one thing, there is no fucking way to predict when when a rebel army is going to spawn in a region. Another reason why I usually don't take out the rebel armies is because you want them to sit in the, in the normal region and just not spawn anymore. Another thing is that if you put an army at the cost of a thousand, let's, let's say 1,500 costs in every set settlement, and you've got 20 settlements, that's a lot of money that you're wasting on troops that are just sitting there all the time. Better to lose a settlement every now and again, just retake it, than to have just have men sitting around doing nothing. There isn't enough money to have full stacks in every settlement to perfectly defend everything, and also be attacking effectively. So that's probably just archers shooting us. It's not them. So what are these units over here? They look like missile units, so I'm going to bring in my generals to go kill them. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day! The walls are taken! Yeah, slingers. Yeah, just let them get shot. It's all good. Good. Also, with these guys here, they'll um, they might send more troops down this way to get shot to shit. So so far we've killed twenty nine percent of them. That's that's good. We've only lost one percent of our troops. Hopefully they keep sending troops down here. Doesn't look like they want to. All right, Let's bring our infantry in. These guys are getting slaughtered. I 
Right, I'd rather use up the Limitanii first, so they're the front lines. Let's bring the archers in as well. So how are we going now? Good, nearly half of them dead. Just makes sense to me to try and use up as much of our ammunition as possible, otherwise it's just, you know, it's going to waste. Better to use up an arrow than waste a man's life. I don't care about their lives. Oh, they've got loads of archers. Oh, God damn it. Attacking, attacking here is going to suck because, you know, they suck. Like I said, I don't, I don't really like to recruit these, except in a desperate situation. Like, if I, if I hadn't known those rebels were at Egypt, I would have recruited anything available. So it's not a good army that's besieging it, but a, a one unit of peasants isn't going to be able to do anything. Just stay close to them. All of you guys come in as well now. Let's just get in there. As for the archers, you can get a little, little bit closer. And shoot the guys that are like hanging back here. The Mitanni are cowards, don't expect anything out of them. Okay, now, you two. I want you to come around here and hit him in the flanks. Send you in as well. The gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. They'll probably actually get so much recovery that they're not going to get wiped out. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Let's put these mountain slingers. All right, cavalry can handle them. And that is the end of the Sassanids. Most of those casualties were just Limitanii. Victory! Settlement captured. Seems like they were having trouble maintaining this public order as well. What the fuck is the problem here? Oh, it's actually because it's mostly Christian. Well, that serves us well. Good, so now this guy needs to go up north, because he's just causing problems. Yep, the Limitani are fine. So as long as they can be retrained here, which can they? Yep. We can at least recover them, I can't recover these guys. But I'm... There's other regions where we can recover them. Now, this guy here is still Zoroastrian, so we're, we're going to have to get rid of him. But at least now he... I don't think he's still a... um. Clibinario. Yeah, okay, Chosen Warlord. Much easier to deal with. Anyway, we've reached past an hour and a half, so we'll end the episode here. So guys, like and subscribe, part four is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.